Alright guys, so here's a follow-up video for the auto docking system for, from Sony. It's the ICF-CS15IP. A couple people had questions about how to um, set up the uh, stations, how to do the presets, and so forth. So I'm going to do some demonstrations on how that works. It's not a very intuitive process, so hopefully I can answer some questions you guys have had. Um, first off is the uh, radio presets. So let me um, see if I can show you how that works. <clears throat> up top, you'll know. Up top, um, in my other video, let me see if I can point this down. You'll see you have off radio play for the iPhone and uh, iPod, and the preset buttons. But don't forget about the buttons up here. This is how you tune your radio. And these are going to be very important on how you set the presets. This is why it's probably confusing for most because the preset buttons are up here, but how to set it is up here. So let me go through and show you. I also, uh, there was another question someone had. I'm going to just double check on that real quick. So one question was, um, someone cannot figure out how the presets um, for your radio and also how to set up the alarm clock so I'm gonna go over those two specific uh, questions and answer them in this video if you have any other questions please feel free to comment and I'm sure to answer them for you <clears throat> so the alarm clock automatically sets itself not the alarm clock the clock itself but to, uh, to set the clock the alarm clock there's just two buttons at the base here alarm A and alarm B so if you want to set it, you just hit A and it starts blinking. Then all you have to do is hit the time set. So let's just say it's um, 6, I want to get up at 6 a.m. but I want to change this to like 6.30. Just hit the alarm set A again. This will start blinking. And let's just say... 6.15 and then alarm set again. Now if you'll notice right here Monday through Sunday are blinking. If you hit the time set again you can program it to do weekend only which is the Saturday and Sunday blinking. All seven days or just Monday through Friday. And we're just going to do Monday through Friday because I want to sleep in on the weekends. And then hit set again and now it's blinking, what do you want to wake up to? Do you want to wake up to your iPod, FM, AM, buzzer, and it goes back to iPod. I'm going to select FM. All right, and then you hit set again. And then you can select what preset you want, which is awesome. So I'm going to hit select preset 1. And the volume, keep it too, not too loud, I'll do volume 6 and set. So I just set the volume that it's going to wake me up at, the preset, the source, and how many days of the week it's going to wake me up at. Pretty advanced for an alarm clock I must say. Now you can do the same with alarm B if you have a companion sleeping in the same bed. So that goes over how to set up the alarm. But notice how I said there's a preset. Presets are not that easy to set up. At least they're not intuitive. If you look at the top here, you'll have the radio band button. Now if I click that, it turns on the radio. Not a big deal. The problem is, is that if you hit these preset buttons, by factory, there's no radio stations attached to them. It's the lowest uh, FM frequency. All right, so I had technical difficulties there. But basically, uh, what you want to do is, you want to basically select the radio station you're listening to. For these preset buttons, you need to use the tune buttons, mode button, and this display enter button over here. Those are these are the buttons that are really going to set the presets here. So, when you're ready to set a preset, hold down the mode button for 2 seconds. You'll notice the preset is going to start blinking. This is when you want to set your actual preset. So, select a preset number 1 through whatever. I'll select number 2 just so it's different. Then after you're done selecting that number, 
you want to hit this far button to the right, the display enter button. And then the following will appear, your radio station. The display shows the frequency for about 10 seconds and then returns, returns to the current time. <clears throat> so basically when you do that, you're just basically saying, this is the station I want. Set. So let's go back to the preset. If I go to preset 1, there's just static. You can hear it. But if I go to station number 2, now there's a station set. So to go back and how you do that is, is that find the radio station you want, hit mode, hold it down for two seconds, select the preset you want, then hit enter, wait 10 seconds, and then it'll return back to this clock. That is how you set presets on this unit. If you have any other questions regarding this unit or anything else in my videos on YouTube, please feel free to contact me. I usually respond within a few minutes. Um, so please, please watch, subscribe, and thank you again for watching.